no, pretty. So it's not about. So, welcome to a bonus video about bike fit. Today, we did Chris's TT and road bike fit, and I thought I'd split the videos into two because otherwise it's going to end up too long. Here are all of your bike fit questions answered by Bike Fit James. Can a bad shoe fit or a wrongly positioned cleat cause that? That. <laughs> cause what? Sorry, what? Cause what? Cause what Metatarsalgia. Yeah. Thank you. That's fine. Metatarsalgia. Wow. Metatarsalgia. I, I, I guess a shoe. Getting yeah, nostalgia with this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess certain shoes um, or ill fitting shoes could cause metatarsalgia like symptoms, which is like a hot foot. Um, if the cleats too far forward, I guess that could that could do it. Um, lack of ultra support that could do it as well. There are multiple kind of answers to the same question, I guess. I think you know th there were quite a few questions surrounding numb feet. Oops, sorry. Um, and you know again, that's that's an ultra support thing. If the shoe's not stiff enough and doesn't support the foot enough, you'll get numb feet. Um, so yeah, there, like I say, it's multifaceted. Uh, Ultimately, get a nice stiff shoe that fits you well. And you are out of it. <laughs> Footbeds will only make you slower and less powerful. Just look at running back to barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> look, everyone's entitled to their to their opinion. Um, yeah, and you know, when I when I have my own opinions, I, I, I you know Opinionate. state that it's my opinion. Yeah. Um, but you know, you can't you can't step away from the fact that you know, I, I have. I have a pressure mapping system that maps out how you pressure, how much pressure you apply to the saddle. And on a number of occasions, I can prove that I can half the amount of pressure going through the saddle just by putting arch support in the shoes. So I'm sorry, you're wrong. Can I get GA insoles in the US? I've actually replied to that comment. Um, and I sent Sigma's. I think Sigma's actually one of the very few places you can actually buy them online. Um, huh. yeah. Sigma's for website, done. Sigma's for website. He, I've, Irritating to watch someone eating while trying to be knowledgeable, just saying. What? <laughs> when I'm doing a lot of climbing, I tend to get pins and needles in my left foot. Was advised by a bike fitter that I had tightness throughout the left side of lower back and I should use a roller to try and ease it off. This mostly isn't practical for me, but is it likely this could be the cause? Yeah, I guess it could do. I don't see any reason why not. Um, pins and needles on your left foot. It's funny how my answer to everything is lower the saddle height. Because <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. <clears throat> it's probably one of the problems. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I don't know. Without seeing that individual, without seeing their feet, that's that's a hard one to answer. That could be a multitude of things. It could be a million and one things. Just did a week-long seven-day ride called R-A-G-B-R-A-I in the States, averaging 70 miles a day for a total of 450 miles for the week. I was getting hot spots on my feet with at ball of my feet and my third and fifth toes would go numb and a week later toes are still numb, tingly. I wear specialised expert shoes with an insert that I loosen the shoe to help a bit. Anything I can do to not get issues in my toes. Well if you're going lateral, uh, if you're going numb in the outer digits of your feet, that could be a stance thing. If it's, if it's both feet, your feet are probably too close together, so take them further apart. Um, or uh, you might need a bit of wedging in your shoes. Hard to say, again, to be totally honest. What's the basis on James's opinion that everyone needs orthotics in their shoes? Why is it relevant that the person can feel an orthotic in their shoes whilst riding if they're not having any foot or lower limb issues? Let him clean his head himself up first. He's had an issue. Um, I've, I've had a bit of a, a squirt. Um, a squeeze. Helmet squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, so it, 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 I think it's another commenter stated it's, it's sort of proprioceptive. Steve Hogg explains it very well on his website. Um, but it's all about proprioceptive awareness of the foot. It's less mechanical um, and more about, like I said, proprioceptive awareness of the foot, which you tend to lose when you put your foot into a cycling shoe. Um, that's pretty much it. It could um, prevent problems happening in the future, do you mean? Yeah, like, totally. Is that sort of yeah. um, I've lost my uh, chain of thought now. Got an audience this week. Got a beer. <laughs> You've left your salad. Ed, do you want it? it? Yeah, Lawrence. Uh, thank you. Dive in. I'm, ha I'm healthy, Francis. Splash. <laughs> Cheese jacket potato. <laughs> Cheese jacket potato, but <coughs> salad. Top notch. 
What does James think about sizing shoes to arch length as measured from a Brannock? That's a good question. That's I mean, what you use, it, isn't it? Brannock, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I use a Brannock device. Um, I guess arch length. I, I probably wouldn't size a shoe based on arch length, mostly on the on the basis that arch length doesn't determine the length of a foot, but it does determine cleat placement. So someone with a, a longer arch will need their cleat comparatively further forward than someone with a shorter arch, ultimately. Um, but I, you know, so someone with a long arch might benefit from a cleat location that's slightly further forward, but no, generally speaking. I, I wouldn't use arch length as a, uh, as a means of determining foot size. There's a lot of questions which <laughs> yeah. are the same thing. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but the gist is I have numb feet. How do I solve it without having a bike fit? Well, you know, numbness you get, I mean, if, if you look at it objectively, numbness is caused by a cut off of blood circulation, right? So you gotta think about why would, you, why would you lose circulation to the feet? I would imagine the two uh, most common factors are the soft soled shoe. So if you're riding a bike in trainers, for example, you're likely to get numb feet or lack of arch support. Again, you know, lack of arch support is, is, is going to be a, uh, a potential driver for, for numbness in the feet. I get a light pain in my right foot on the outside of all of my shoes. Uh, they're Mavic shoes. This is a sign of a small fit or not wide enough. It seems to be the stiffer shoes that I get the pain. Sells too high, isn't it? Impossible to Almost know. definitely. Um, so if it's on the outside of the right foot, oh I mean, yeah, this is complete speculation. You can't, you can't. Um, I couldn't tell you without seeing you on a bike. But you know, if very commonly, if someone uh, runs the saddle too high, they sit off to one side, as we've referenced in you know previous uh, videos. But if you do sit off to one side, you tend to drive to the lateral side of the foot on that side. Um, so so yeah, try lowering your saddle height by five mil. Let me know if it doesn't improve things. How can you talk about shoes without mentioning cleat flow? Could James do a bit on this subject, how much float is needed and why? I'm sort of on the fence with float. Um, I think you need some. I don't, uh, you know, again, this is my opinion and my findings. I find a lot of people use fixed cleats um, because they don't like the feeling of kind of moving around and washing around in the cleat, uh, or in the pedal, sorry. Um, which, you know, again, you can rectify with foot correction and <laughs> arch support. How, how, how much longer am I going to talk about arch support? You know, like I say, people, people um, move to things like fix, fix cleats mostly to try and eliminate a symptom rather than treating the symptom. Um, as we found in your position today, you know, you felt as though there was more float in, in one pedal than, than there was in the other. You stick a wedge in there and all of a sudden that this, that motion disappears. So I think, you know, if you think about how a knee works, it doesn't, if you, if you force it in, in one particular plane, you're gonna, I guess ultimately you're gonna cause, uh, open up potential for injury. Um, knees don't like to be twisted, rotated, this and the other. Um, and actually that, that being fixed has the potential to do that. Last comment. Love these Bike Fit Tuesdays. Oh, you can come back. Yeah. <laughs> Keep watching. Gold star. Keep watching. Yeah, gold star. You're the best. We like you. Any more questions down below? Yeah. We could do another bonus video like this. Yep. In the totally. meantime, goodbye. Bye bye. We've just come to Neil's wheels because we are finally attempting to fix Amy's eBay broken bike. What's going on? Well, we're going to try. Hopefully, fit some new forks. So Amy's dead. Dead. It's not dead, man. It's not dead. Bike. We're gonna resurrected. Perform some voodoo and bring it back to life. You're wearing an apron. You seem like the man for the job. I know. Looks can be deceiving. I'm afraid. <laughs> so basically, Amy bought this bike from eBay, uh, and it turned up, and the box was just fucked. Uh, the bike inside was bent, and then we tried to return it, and we couldn't return it because of some weird. You pay for it by PayPal check or something, and it basically we got screwed over a bit but it might be salvageable. That's what I've been doing the entire time you've gone. What? The viewers don't even know that I've been gone. Oh, you went, left me to do... Cut the steerer down, just fine. That much? It's quite a lot. 
It's a lot according to you, so I've heard. Managed. Rethreaded. To cut. Not that much steerer into the or thread into the steerer. So hopefully they now fit Amy's mm. bike. So this is teeny. Look. Look how small that is. That's that is the a problem. Very small That's the problem we had. So hopefully cut it. Now I've got enough thread. Put the headset on, and then we're then one step closer to a bike that half works. It's more grease than you should have. I'm not letting this get stuck like last time. <laughs> all of the, uh, the the guns, the this in the stand earlier, all of the shaking. The immovable seat post. We haven't been able to move this for months. Seven months. Well, we yeah, were going to take it to Rob Quirk to fix. No more. No more. Sorry, Quirky. You're, uh, <laughs> you're out of business. So. She's alive. That is it. Are you pleased? I'm very pleased. I mean, if you look at it, you'd think it would ride like a piece of shit. But it's actually really smooth. It's my little Frankenstein's monster. Spent the night under stage lights, singing to the shadows. Told him about the strange brew hanging from the gallows. Deaf ears to the true sound of life. Rebel in the room, not a follower of cattle. I can settle for a tomb if my church straight. Fuck it, I'll just rise again on the third day.